great is not a peculiarity. How did you all sleep? Really? Well, that's just great. You know, I didn't sleep so great myself. I think I slept only for four hours. Time flies when you're having fun. I guess the hours of debugging at night were fun. A couple of weeks ago, I uploaded a new Discord bot that runs on Disco Diffusion. It allowed you to generate image based on a prompt and alter them using various parameters. I was really stunned by the reactions that I got. There were so many people that started making things with it and there were a lot of people joining my server. People that DM'd me even how to run the bot themselves. I didn't think that so many people wanted to use it. People started making such cool pieces and I absolutely loved it. It makes it all the more worthwhile to actually have opened it up for free anyway. Because I've been running this bot publicly on my own server for around two weeks already. And it only has one RTX 3080. So, you know, things can get a little bit slow sometimes when a lot of people are online. And one of the features that especially suffered from that was the upscaling function. You see... Our bot works differently from this kind of fusion in this regard. Thingy creates 512 by 512 images and offers the user to upscale them. Therefore, it's faster, easier to get results at the expense of the image quality. However, the upscaling function was built in one night and it wasn't really that good. The process of the old upscaling function goes something like this. You take the 512 by 512 image, you double its resolution, you add noise on top of it, and then let the same clip model and same diffusion model denoise the image again, which then adds more details to it. However, it didn't look always as good as I hoped for. Many of the details did change. Another problem with it was of course that you are forced to run the clip model and the same diffusion model, which are quite heavy. While I probably could have tuned the parameters to get a more clear image, such as reducing the clip guidance scale, it still didn't stick with me. For instance, you would have to run the same clip model and the same diffusion model, which both are quite big. Enter Diff2x. Diff2x is a small diffusion model that instead of going over the whole image, will instead take tiles of 32 by 32 pixels, and upscales them to 64 to 64. And because it's doing it in tiles, you can already guess, it doesn't take as much memory. And because the model is also small, loading the model is also not a big problem. In fact, I can even run Diff2x in addition to the image generation models. This means one user can upscale an image while the other user can generate a new image at the same time on a single RTX 3080. Whoa. <laughs> And this model is based on SR3 by Google, which is an iterative refinement model, which means that it adds more detail. It doesn't necessarily try too hard to generate a whole new image that just looks bigger. This means that your image looks largely the same. However, more detail gets added, something that most other models don't do. So the artifacts are very minimal. And because it is tiled, it doesn't matter how big your image really is that you want to upscale, allowing you to go from normal too big, too great, too So yesterday before making this video, or uh, actually last night, I was testing the model on private beta on my server. However, the quality that you will see at the moment of recording this video at least, is less than what you will see on GitHub on the source code because the quality parameters are tuned down so that the generation is faster. I will keep this up until I find better ways to tune the parameters. If you want to see the model in full scale, you can of course run it yourself. It's the same weights and they are pushed online on GitHub. And there will be a link in the description below. Credit where credit is due, I didn't fully make this model on my own. There are two other people that I really have to thank personally in this video. I'm really grateful to Kiana because of their feedback. They really helped me to see what's in the ecosystem because I'm really new to the OpenAI ecosystem. I mean open space AI, not open AI. And they really helped me to show what was already there and what wasn't allowing me to focus purely on the things that really matter while at the same time keeping my own requirements in mind. Another person I should thank who wishes to remain anonymous, but I just couldn't not mention them because I feel like they did really a lot to make this work. It's an anonymous person who gave me the idea that instead of doing larger images and full photo upscaling, they showed me that doing it in tiles was maybe a much better solution. While I was already planning to do it in tiles, the training was going on full images. So I'm really grateful for them to let me know that training on tiles will be just as good. And that really pushed me in the right direction. So random anonymous person, thank you very much. Well. That's it. There will be a GitHub link in the description below. 
Everyone can download it, they can install it, they can integrate it in their own bots if they want. If you want to see the upscaling model live, you can go to my server and see it run there using the upscale function. If you're going to bed, of course, you need Dragon's Note peculiarities. Have a nice weekend. I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.